Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's almost five o'clock on Thursday. I've shot this video like 20 times over the past several days. For one reason or another, I decided not to keep any of that footage and I'm starting fresh. So what is going on with the Devious Monkey? Well, we're in the middle of October and we're getting to a point where there just aren't a lot of birds around. I've gone to three ships every day since I've been back. I got back on Friday. I haven't seen an Osprey. I haven't seen an Eagle. I haven't seen anything since before I left last week. I knew that that was coming. What does that mean? It means that my monkey in the wild is gonna wind down for a few months until we get past the winter months anyways, because there's not a lot around here other than like maybe some ducks, you know, a crow or two, things like that. So there, again, there's not gonna be a lot for me to do with monkey in the wild. That coupled with the fact that I miss doing my shitty little vlogs, I have decided that I'm gonna start doing my shitty little vlogs again. Now, you saw how I changed the studio. You know, I put up all the sound tiles, moved all that stuff, turned things around, got stuff ready to go. Right now, because it's October, so it's Halloween, you know, I've got this playing in my office, like pretty much constantly, or something like it, just a background. And then you could see on the, on the lamp post, I got my ghosts up and, and the little Halloween lights. And my wife and I have pretty much determined that the longer we stay here, the more it turns into a, a constant Halloween themed house. We just keep buying shit with skulls and bones and all kinds of weird stuff and it just starts getting put out and it's out all the time. And that's just the way we like it. So you're gonna have to get used to that. Now, what else has changed or what else is changing as I continue my journey through life? Well, I've gotten to a point where I had the one shoot with a professional model back in the middle of June, then I got sick. And basically for two months, I sat inside my house gag coughing. So I didn't do anything. I didn't film anything really. I didn't do any editing. I didn't, I mean, up until yesterday, I didn't even really looked at the pictures other than when her and I first went through them, you know, the day that we shot them. And over that time, I kind of lost the forward momentum of, oh yeah, that, all right, finally, I had a decent photo shoot with a non-flaky model and, you know, we had a great time maybe I should start doing more of that. And that, well, that momentum has gone. And, and I have to come to the realization that I'm just not gonna be doing that. Maybe once in a blue moon I might, but not enough for me to have all this equipment geared towards shooting you know, models. That's just not gonna happen. It's not what I do anymore. So that means massive gear change. Not massive, but enough of a gear change that, that it's notable. So what I've done is I have, I've decided that the A7R5 goes, well, one of them, because I have two. A7R5 goes probably at least two, maybe three of my G Master lenses because they're not for anything other than portrait photography, which I don't do and I won't be doing. I will have the one Sigma 105 F1.4, which is what I used in that shoot, and it's amazing, and I'll just continue to use that. And then I'm gonna keep the 70 to 200 uh, G Master version two. I might keep my 50, I might not. I don't know, we'll see, probably not. So that stuff goes. What's that leave me with? Well, it leaves me with my original A7R5 with the grip in the cage with the Sigma 500 millimeter F5.6 on it. And that's gonna be strictly for my birding and wildlife and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll have the 70 to 200, you know, for if I you know, don't wanna take out the 500. For filming, da, 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 what I'm filming on right now, the Panasonic Lumix S52X. I have wanted this camera since it was announced. I pre-ordered it and then I canceled it. It's been in my cart and deleted probably a dozen times over the last year. I finally decided I'm gonna get that. So that's why I'm selling the A7R5 and the other lenses. I got this camera. I also got the Sigma 24 F1.4. I decided that after watching a bunch of videos that I was not gonna be able to, to deal with the focus breathing on the lens. And I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go all in on Panasonic stuff because I'm sorry, but third party lenses don't work as well as OEM lenses in a system. So I got the Panasonic 24 millimeter F1.8 S lens and the lens that's on here now, which will be on here probably 95% of the time is the Panasonic 24 to 105 F4 OIS S lens. This combination, is unbelievable. Now, if you have been following me for a long time, you know that when I started this journey, when I moved here, I was a Panasonic fanboy. 
I started shooting video on Panasonic camcorders. And I had several of those from a, a crappy little handheld one that I bought in a Costco on sale all the way up to one of their cinema line, like HMC uh, cinema cameras with XLR and it was gigantic. I, I looked like a news crew and it was ridiculous. But then the contrast based autofocus that they were using at the time sucked massively. Horrible, horrible, very frustrating. And that's what got me into Sony. Sony still can't be touched when it comes to autofocus. But this S52X is pretty damn close. The one thing that Sony can't touch Panasonic on is image stabilization. Holy crap. The image stabilization on this freaking camera, the in-body stabilization, because the 24 doesn't have OIS, is amazing. Like, by itself, it's amazing. But with this lens on here, having the stabilization on the lens and the body, so having dual IBIS, holy crap, man. If, if I could still do jumping jacks, I could do dump, jumping jacks while I was recording and, and you damn well probably couldn't tell that I was doing that. It's that good. I have a DJI mic on there and I got this for Christmas last year and I never opened it. So I decided new is new. We're going to keep it all fresh and we're going to go in here. Now, one of the more intriguing things about this camera system that really lured me in was the fact that you can shoot to an external SSD instead of having to just go on SD cards because this only has SD card slots. It does not have any CF Express a or B, I think A is pretty much a Sony thing, B is everybody else. On a 256 gig card, if I wanted to shoot in MOV at like 400 megabits per second, I could only get an hour and seven minutes on a, on a card. And I'm like, no way. When I found out I could shoot an SSD, I threw a Samsung T7 Shield one terabyte drive on here. If I wanted to shoot the MOV 400 megabits, I could still get like an hour and seven minutes. I'm not gonna shoot that high, there's no point. But if I banked it down to like the 150 megabits or whatever, I could shoot uh, like 13 hours. And if I shot in MP4, 30 hours on this thing. I can get 30 hours, almost 31 hours on the one terabyte drive. The next problem, battery life. The battery life ain't that great because this camera is really advanced and having all this shit plugged into it and running, it, I don't get great battery life. They don't come with chargers anymore. So I guess nobody, you don't get phones with chargers. You don't get cameras with chargers. You always have to buy, uh, well, you don't have to buy anything. They just give you a cable and you have to plug it into the camera, but then you can't use it. So of course I buy aftermarket on Amazon just to get the charger. And then it usually comes with a couple of shitty batteries. So I got this one and I actually got two chargers. One, I thought I was getting a dual charger and it turns out that it was a single charger, but with two shitty batteries. And then I ordered a dual charger that didn't come with batteries. The batteries on those are even worse than, than you know the Panasonic batteries. But I do have that Anton Bauer external battery and I ordered a dummy battery for this thing. So you remember the Anton Bauer thing that I have, and I put one of those F34 clamps on here, and that's what I got on the plate there. And then it just comes with a battery. You stick that in there and you plug it in here at full charge, plugged into this thing, 11 and a half hours. So I get 11 and a half hours of battery life and almost 31 hours of space that I can record to. I think I'm good to go. This camera is way advanced. It's very different because it's Panasonic, not Sony. I have spent the last week learning how to use this camera. What do I mean learning? I mean, from scratch. I have all new buttons that I got to remember because remember, I have always said that you need to become intimately familiar with your camera, meaning you need to know how to use that thing blindfolded. I can use all my Sony cameras pushing on the back without seeing, you know, without seeing anything I can push those buttons, I could do it with my eyes closed, and I could set anything, change any settings that I want to without having to see it. I'm about 90% there on this one already because I've been testing it. I had to redo all the audio because it's so different from the Sony cameras. I've had to figure out the metering, the auto focusing, you know, the, all the menus and all that kind of stuff. So I've gone through here. I have filmed a shit ton in the last week and decided that I wasn't gonna put any of that out there. I was just gonna tell you here what's going on. Now at this point, Going forward for the next few months, I'm really not going to be able to do any monkey in the wild that I'm aware of. We're back to shitty little vlogs, but I just wanted to take the time to give you a little update on the newness of, of everything that is the devious monkey. All right, that, that's all I wanted to tell you about. That's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.